So, you handed in the corpses for the quest. You took your silvers and you made your way on your way. You are now still in the town, hovering around outside the shop. It is not that late in the day. It is not noon, but you still got plenty of daylight left. All right. Seeing as how we got didn't get any experience for that quest, mm -hmm. um, and our only active quest currently is the horn, and or maybe even killing the. Uh, Oh, we didn't get that as a quest though, but I think it's too dangerous to take on, which I feel yeah. is the opinion of everyone else. Yeah. So I say we go back into the mine and try to reduce the numbers of the jellyfishes. Um yeah. Also. I mean I mean I relented to that if we didn't find uh, any more suitable jobs in town, so yeah, yeah, I'll keep my word on that. There is one um, major detail I did forget to mention. Go ahead. Jung got several more ducks, that is all. Oh, actually, I do remember, I actually did, you know, the Discord quack? So I go, quack, quack. I actually did pitch him, like, the first one time. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. We're, we're, we, we were talking about sound effects a lot, so I'm just kind of thinking about that at the moment. I apologize for interrupting. I have red, green, blue, yellow, and orange, and he was working on a purple one. I should go back someday. I'm going to ignore that. Um, June, how many of those clue balls do you have? 52. Yeah, to uh, share them amongst the group. Right now? I mean, are we going oh. into the mine right now or are we going to do something else? Oh. Uh, I personally would say that it's early enough in the day that we stand a decent chance because I wouldn't want to go in any later than this because when we get out of there, we'll be traveling in the dark otherwise. So I think if we're going to go into the mine, it should be now. Not good to now. It's going to be dark for me anyway, so... Um... No, I meant traveling back from the mines oh, later. Yeah, yeah. And I still have some healing capabilities. So a uh, quick quest before we get in there would help. Um... What, another quest, did you say? Oh, rest. No, Sorry. Rest. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said quests. I miss actually. Um, yeah, I mean, well, how long do you need for that? It's about half an hour or something? Yeah, something like that. I think that's, I think that's reasonable, in my opinion. Yeah, so what are you going to do with your half an hour then? Well, I'm taking the short rest to get my uh, spell slot back. Say again, sorry. I'm taking the rest to take my to get my spell slot back. Oh yeah, I mean, what do you want to do during the short rest? Because you can do uh, simple activities potentially in the short rest. God, I don't know. I don't <laughs> have anything to do. Just you're simply relaxed. Enjoying though. nature. In the middle of a village. <laughs> so you look so out upon this village as you see these people go about their daily lives. Here is Jeffrey. He is currently scooping some unsavory substance from the floor. As he walks past, he gives you a nod and scoops it into his bucket. He lifts his bucket and goes about his daily ritual, moving down the street and around the corner. You then hear a yell, and you see him come running around the corner without his bucket. He runs past you and disappears into the town. You then see another person, a tiefling male, come running around the corner, eyes ablaze, covered in some unsavory matter. He runs past you. I uh, guess the best station as he's running past me. He doesn't know this consumed by his rage. Oh, that's a nice deed. I, in the meantime, go take some pictures of Skippy. I'd say when you go there, um, Herbert is there as well. Well, good, good day to you. Good. How are you doing? Good day. I'm doing quite well. How are you? How have you been? Oh, much better now, thank you. And Skippy, is he feeling alright? We see Skippy from trotting out, tail wagging, oh. holding what seems to be a leather ball looking at you. I squat down and hold my hand out. Puts its uh, mouth above your hand, and after a few seconds of holding the let's go the ball, it drops into your hand. A little bit wet, a bit moist, but it's a rough leather ball. I move the ball a little in front of his face. Want me to throw it, boy? And oh. I throw it. <laughs> Roll me strength check. Strength. Oh, I got... Mm. Okay, this terrible strength. Oh, okay. Poor Skippy. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. natural 20. <laughs> you lean back, roll your shoulders ever so slightly, and then launch the ball, and it goes up and up and up and up, and you see it disappear over the top of a house, and Skippy's off, darting away down the streets around the corner, and you lose sight of Skippy. A few moments right. pass, Herbert just looks up at you, and down the streets, and back up at you. I uh, start going in a direction 
for where the ball went and where Skippy uh, got out of sight. You go down the streets, you go around the corner, and you see Skippy much further down, grabbing the ball in mouth and starts uh, trotting back at a casual pace. I'll wait till he comes up to me and then walk back to Herbert's house. He sees you coming, he'd gotten up a little bit worried, but sits back down seeing you both trotting back. Oh, well, uh, Skippy's not uh, used to quite that. Uh, it's a good arm, are you? Yeah, I, uh, I didn't expect that actually. I'm not great at throwing things. Yes, uh, I can't say I was either in my heyday. Oh, well, uh, I've heard you were quite uh, fit and athletic. Well, uh, I had my ways, I had stamina. All right, and I continue playing with uh, Skippy till uh, till uh, David uh, gathers us. Do you do anything with the time book? Uh, me? Nah, nothing in particular. Fair enough. You stand in the market center near where David is, just looking at nothing. Um, yeah, I would say that. Actually, by give you odd looks. Brandon would occasionally awkwardly wave at people. People would wave back awkwardly as well. Kara spent this time eating two rat kebabs. Um. Tara just slowly becoming a werewolf at this point. <laughs> she just seems to constantly be eating us. I'll not be telling much. Well, I mean, can I visually see her getting curvy? That's all I'm talking about. Roll me a perception check. Check. <laughs> Are you trying to see if she's getting curvier? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's. Um, I'm not going to acknowledge that. I'm just going to. Oh my times. <laughs> uh, a nine. You're really not sure. You know, was was a chin always that? That was had that little bit of fuzz there. Brandon values his life too much to ask that question directly, and simply opts to leave her to eat her rat foodstuffs. A half an hour passes. I'd say at that point, uh, Jun, you would have made your way back after having your time with Skippy and making some nice little pictures when Herbert wasn't looking. I'll just say. Good night. Good night have taken one of Herbert as well without him noticing it. Mm. Oh, Alright, cool. Take what? Picture. Uh, remember these people I like. So, Mr. Martinez, are you finished doing your thingy thing? Yes, I'm done with the rest and ready to go. I... That was Skippy. Oh, he was lovely. He, uh, he, uh, we played some fetch and I sat down with Herbert and uh, just had a nice time. I really like it. The people here are nice, actually. And what did you do in the meantime? Sat down, watched the townspeople. Nothing special. Doesn't sound very, uh, how do I say this nicely? Uh, Exciting. And, yeah. It wasn't as calm. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. But Me that does sound nice. I have barely passable social skills, so I basically just, you know, kind of continued as it was, really. If you're asking me if I want some rat kebab, no, thank you. She slurps up a strip of meat from it. Ew. How many did you add? Now, I mean, now, I mean, how many have you added total? Can you even count anymore? Mm. Really good. Anyway, uh, to the mine then. Okay. You make your way to the mine. Do you do anything along the way? I just head straight there, bullseye, bullseye. It's an error. Uh, yeah. Brandon wouldn't uh, divert for anything unless something come across something. And you make your way to the cave. With some uh, om- ominous uh, music. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, no. I'm getting yeah. stressed out already, thanks. You're welcome. I guess there's the light um, pebble. You still got your pebble right there as well. Nice and ruined to go. I was just about to say, it was the waiting for you to return. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the only yeah. companion you can actually rely on for light pebble. So, I take my light and walk inside. So, um, whispering. Do we want to go downstairs? Or the level down immediately, or? Uh, I think we've probably cleared more of them on this level than we have further down, and further down is our destination eventually, so I think if we want to clear the numbers, we should probably go that way, and, you know, obviously deal with any that are in our way on the way there. But, uh, oh, up to you guys, if you would rather uh, stay up here for a bit. I have no preference. Uh, I think, uh, checking the path towards where we supposed to head, maybe. Uh, that, that was uh, down into the right, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's uh, looking at my uh, map, it's this corridor. The cave is quiet, other than the occasional drip of water. Um, 
I think it was uh, down from here, wasn't it, Jun? Uh, yeah. Down and then to the, and to the... the left. Yeah, yeah. I think we also need to the whole rope it then to set up again to go down. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the point. Actually, is the pattern still attached, or did you? It should be, but last time you had trouble, it was just getting loose. Uh, yeah, so maybe. Maybe we want to check on how stable it is before we go down. Yeah. Whether we'll need it is still to. Attached. The rope's still up. Would you like to give us a yank? Give us a strength check? I think it's sturdy, guys. It's not moving. <laughs> it seems fine. Okay. Are you have any nice confidence thing. about this bad boy, Jen? Given how strong you were just before throwing the ball? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. I think I should go down first because I'm more Usu spelunking. If that's the word I'm searching for mentally, I just I, I start heading down. You work your way down through the rocky little crevice into a lower area of the cave. Oh wait, anyone can sit and move around. Carries carries it. Oh right, oh. I got there. Yeah. Oh right, we both grabbed car. Oh sure, guys. Well, I'll just ask a bab. She's got a little bit left. She licks the meat. Oh god, no. Wait, what? I wasn't going to say anything <laughs> yeah. at all. <laughs> So, so, occasionally you don't watch what you say. Uh, anyway. You have a filthy mind, Nick. You have a filthy mind. I would have said nothing if had you not laughed. <laughs> okay, so go. It just goes around like a spiral here, right? Yeah. And I stealthily make it. That I need to specify that I'm sneaking. Roll a stealth check. What's your sneaking your boots? Boot? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> An oot. You are sneaking about super safely. Super secret agent style. Oh, boom, it's like it's revealing areas. Do, do, do. It's interesting we haven't encountered anything yet. Huh. Round the corner, you see something in the darkness, in the shadow. You see a s still slime wiggling around that hasn't noticed you, despite moving so closely to it. In the distance, you can see another one. Actually, another. I um, wave to the others so that they can uh, notice me. Then I make this just a three, one, here. Almost like playing charades. And, uh, and I'm not and, and I'm moving uh, a bit back. Moving back again. I'll have you roll a stealth check, assuming you don't want it to be seen again. Yes. Given you were directly next to it. Seventeen. Yeah, you managed to move back. It just stays undulating in place. You know, I just realised the slimes have little black eyes. I never noticed that before. They look cute. Look at them. Look at them. That's what you've been killing. And rabbits. Don't forget the baby rabbits. <laughs> you make me sound like a mon the monster I totally am, by the way. <laughs> so what are you doing? Um, <clears throat> so I see nobody moving, I just start pointing at June, and I'm pointing at the slime. June, random, roll intelligence, giving you yeah, to each other. Yeah, I think basically um, the, reason, the reason it didn't move up is I just don't know if random would interpret that signal that way. Um, ten. Yeah, so you figure it out, you might just figure out that he's not pointing at you. Okay. What should I even do? I did that out of glue boss, I just remember. I reach into my bag and give uh, Brandon 10 glue balls. I assume you accept Brandon? Oh yeah, I was just adding them to my sheets, sorry. And then what do you do? Okay, uh, I think Brandon probably has, yeah, a lot of sights in it, so... Um, I think he's going to take the initiative and throw a glue ball at it. Rule of advantage. Uh, it's just a uh, straight d20 for these, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. No, uh, 2d8. Ooh, not a great roll. Six. Okay. We roll, roll your glue ball, and it goes right into center mass, and part of it starts to immediately congeal, and it begins to panic, suddenly moving around side to side, and roll initiative. I want to roll for Kara. Um, I don't have a sheet open at the second. Mm, I got a sheet open. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. I tried my best. She's still licking her fingers, I'd say. Yeah, is she consuming the red meat or is she getting consumed at this point? As long as she doesn't start consuming us, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. No promises. So, Brandon, you're throwing your glue ball. Your turn. What do you do? Um, how did a big part of it break off with his first glue ball? Yeah, approximately half. Okay, I think Brandon is going to use a second one then. Oh, second one. It goes right against the wall, splashing on the wall. Assuming you're into turn? Uh, yep. 
No bonus actions. But you do it. Uh, I throw it from where I am. Yeah, you do not have line of sight there. Mm, here, throw it as hard as I can. Throw away. You throw it as hard as you can, and it hits the wall as well. Exactly the same place that Brandon hit. Move back. Gently nudge Brandon to go forward. I can do it. I am my turn. David, I... standing here, you just see several glue balls just hit the wall. And go, I hit my source of light. I show my source of light around here is trying to distract the uh, the slimes. Throwing hard or to make sound or make sound. Roll me strength. Fifteen. Was well, almost a two. Yeah. It clatters against the wall, then lands on the floor, rolling around, making a kind of tick 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 sound. Mm, and then I try to stealthily move towards Doom. Mm, that's like you move like that. No worries. Alright. Clue boss. And you said? They are in my back. Can I grab them from her backpack? Or? If you use your action to throw your stone, so I'm going to say no. Okay, the next turn. Again, you know, interaction, that being said. But I'll let you use your interaction to fish a handful out. Alright. Roll a d6 to see how many you manage to grab hold of. A one. Six. You keep finding the ducks when you're trying to find them before you eventually find one of them. There are too many ducks. Uh, and I had my turn there. Okay. <laughs> Just like that, all the slimes are alerted. These two slimes are going to go to investigate the rock. But this one, however, is going to move up towards the nearest target. Brandon, it's going to give you a flick. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Flails towards you, burning your shin. Okay. That's the end of the slime's turn. Kara, what are you going to do? So what I'll have a do is I'll have a move up to here. In fact, can she get around everyone? Or would she take a moon penalty because we're kind of all bunched up like that? As you're all bunched up, I'm going to consider it difficult terrain to um, I think it uh, was... I think that's still about right. Uh, she was here, wasn't she? So, yeah. So, can she get there? You get to there using 10 foot. Yeah, so... And yes. that would take, it would take 20 foot to get on the same spot as the slime. Ooh. Right, okay, so I don't think she'll be able to do that. Okay, uh, I think what I'll have her do instead, then, in that case, is I'll have her move 20 foot to here, and I'm going to have her shoot an arrow at uh, this one, because I don't think she has line of sight on the other one from there, and I kind of want to draw another way. So what's her long bow? So d20 plus 2. Okay. It won't let me uh, click on a no, thing for some reason. Um, well, on the die, it's just lagging for some reason. Ah, uh, it doesn't hurt. It does. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, that was so, I was said uh, this one was it? Uh, which one? Uh, uh, this one. She was there. Yeah. So that is twenty-six plus one. Uh, for two. You fire the arrow and it chips off part of the side of it. it kind of flaps to the ground and sizzles. Okay. And its attention is drawn away from the stone. Okay, so with Kara's remaining, because I think she moved 20 foot, so then I'm going to have her move a little bit off to the side here. Okay, and that ends Kara's turn. Brandon, you're sad. Oh, and it's my turn, back to back. Okay, um, so Brandon is going to probably just do a mace attack against um, the slime, just directly in front because I think yeah, anything else won't really work okay so 11 presumably it's for free damage you swing your mace down splatting her away from the moraines of the congealed mass that it had and it only is a small little slime looking back up at you with angry little eyes okay uh, brandon will have to end his turn there then do it i can throw one at it now right i have enough uh, sight on it okay you don't have sight um... i will make you a roll of disadvantage give us a range attack That's... against the opponent within five feet uh... Can I just hit him with my harder staff? You can do, yes. Okay. Huh? How badly do you bonk it? For two. Bonk it and you actually hit a stone beside it, but that stone then kind of flicks you into it with just enough force to see it dissipates and sizzle away, leaving it dead. Oh wow. And could I with the bonus, bonus action hold my back open for David to grab more? You can do, yes. Okay. I do that. And then my turn. There. David. I was muted. Prefer, uh, first, I want to grab some more of the glue balls, preferably as a bonus section. Uh, Given the bag's open, simply your instruction. Alright, and I... I say you can grab that to roll for it this time. Give it it's open for you, ready to go. I take 10. Mm, I'd like to say 10, sorry. Yeah, okay. And then um, move over to where Kara is, kind of. I'm sure that's this one that she uh, shot. Roll to attack. 10. Hits. Why is it ice cream? 
2 d8? 2 d8. 14. You slam your glue ball right into it, and it immediately congeals into a mass of goop dying. And then I, um, that was move back 10 feet. There we go. Go to that side. I'll get rid of that then. Whatever. Okay. Slime's turn. Our last slime is going to wiggle its way up. 10, 15. Towards Kara. It's going to make an attack against Kara. I'm uh, pretty sure 10 does not hit Kara. Nope. No. In which case, it ends its turn. Kara's turn. Uh, you... It's my turn now to control Kara. Ooh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to hit it with my plus one short sword. And you hit it with your plus one short sword. You hit it. Oh, I actually. Four. Is that two person? Wow, I rush. Not good. Not good. You slice off part of it, that sizzles away, but it still continues to focus on you. Uh, da, 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 you used find the edge, label hands. What else is she? Reaction. I think that's, that is it. Brandon, right. your turn. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. Okay, I just got to return. Oh, okay, I have plenty of them. Uh, Brandon is going to head behind the slime, and he's going to bonk it with his mace. Bonk away. He's going to try to at least. Come on. Uh, two does not hit. You swing down, and suddenly the eyes seem a bit too cute. You think of the rabbits, and you waver, not quite bringing the mace down. Damn it. Using my only weakness against me. Okay. Uh, Brandon will land his turn then. Good. Your turn. I should probably reveal that bit there. Uh, June? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my sheet. I'm, okay, sorry. Uh, I move around this side. To can you fill a deck safe, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I can. <coughs> DC of twelve. Okay, what? It didn't fail. Okay, you take no damage. So I'm so adapting. It stops looking cutely at Brandon. Since while you feeling the imminent danger, it does a backflip, dodging the little burst of radiant flame. I was appearing. I slowly applaud uh, for the slime and end my turn. David. I go a glue ball. I can catch them all. <laughs> Jamal! <laughs> uh, natural one. Mm. Uh, this, uh, this is our first encounter, guys. Roll me a d4, but before you do, odds or even. Odds or even. Um, I'm feeling out. Yeah, d4. Go. So one or three. It's even. You throw it, and you misjudge it ever so slightly. The shadows are playing with your eyes, and hitting Kara, gluing her hand to her sword. I mean, oh, yeah. not terrible. Could have gotten worse. I, I, can't, I, I can't eat my kebabs like this. That's, could you, that's a good thing. Could you just not like use it as a skewer? Ooh. Damn, should I give it <laughs> right. I end my turn. And it's the slime's turn. So, the slime is feeling invincible. It can take on the world. And the world looks like you, Brandon. You are its world. That's adorable, I think. It's gonna hurt, I suppose. Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, did it roll a 19? Sorry? Yeah, it rolled a 19. Oh, okay. Or acid yeah. damage. It looks up at you. Its eyes suddenly turn fierce. It jumps off the, off the floor, flailing at your face. You feel your cheeks start to burn. Feel your mouth burning as parts of it went in. <laughs> it lands back on the floor, and you hear wiggling further down the cave. Arrow's turn. David, you got this one. I mean, if all you have is a sword, all you have to do is cut. Uh, what is her modifier? Plus two. Uh, 17. Two hits. Definitely hits. For a, oh it's a plus three, for a whopping plus, I see that right, plus one, plus one, d6 plus one, for six damage against the slime that was eating Brandon. You slice it and the majority of it falls away, hissing away on the floor, it quivers slightly, its eyes darting around, suddenly not feeling quite so invincible, suddenly not feeling like it can take on the world. Brandon. You oh, will sure. move here. Brandon, your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Brandon, after taking quite a nasty hit, I think is actually going to... Yeah, I think he's going to disengage. <laughs> uh, and he's going to... Uh, he's going to fall back to here, I think. And uh, he'll end his turn. Another deck save. This time, try to throw it, please. You know, because you asked so nicely. Oh, oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> I should ask nicer more often. <laughs> Seven radiant damage. As it feels the flame coming this time, 
It prepares and does a backflip into the air, but you are waiting for it this time, and you change the source of the flame, and it jumps right up into the flame, and you hear a fizzling and a bubbling, and it suddenly evaporates in the air. Go on. Ori evaporates, I say to it. It was because I knew you would backflip. I trusted you could do it. It'd be too cool. It reminds me of dodgeball somehow. Mm -hmm. You could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. No, uh, it, it, this long story short, it was me and another guy, and he was dodging all the time, so I threw past him, because I knew he would dodge into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an anime move, man. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I end my turn. Damn it. Seeing well, yeah, I'm gonna use a what's it called healing fight on Brandon, so you gain a d6 of healing mm -hmm. for three four points. Hey, I'll, I'll take it, thank you. And then uh, 15 eight, move into do I have line of sight onto our new challenger? You do, yes. Now, oh, oh, glue wall. Bro, roll your 2d8. Four, that's seven. You throw your goo ball, it lands in the middle of it, and it, half of it falls away, then a bit more, but so a little bit of it remaining. I return to my position, and then my turn. Slime's turn. First one wriggles up, second one wriggles up, and more movement behind. The turn ends. Kara has to do something. And it's my turn to control Kara, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. I'm going to have... Um... I'll um, move to here, and she's going to swing in with her short sword against that, so let me just double check that, so that's a plus three, okay. Okay, 18 presumably hits for four. It's flashing with the sword, and it carves away the centre of it, and it dissipates against the rock fizzling. Okay, um, I think he's about 15 foot of a movement to get there, so she's going to use a little bit more of a movement to move back a bit and now land her turn. Brandon, yes. Okay, so Brandon is going to, let's see, can he move up to, yeah, 24. So he's going to move to here. Uh, I want him to, yeah, I'll have him. Can you move that slime body? Thank you. Uh, and yeah, I'm assuming he's in range to throw a blue ball there. Indeed he is. Um, on to, um, yeah, the, the one that's furthest forward. Uh, okay, so rolling the d20, 13, 4, 5 glue damage. You throw your glue ball and it hits it, shearing away half of it. It falls behind it as it continues to undulate towards you. Brandon will move a little bit back around the corner and then end his turn. Mm, still walk past him, right? I yeah, I think you just Correct. can't end your know, movements and in the same space. And this one make a saving throw? No. I hope he can't. He, he can. This one, it feels inspired by its brethren from before. It knew how much how awesome it was. <laughs> it also does a flip. Well, okay. I give him a thumbs up and go back. <laughs> 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 You're getting quite good. Maybe um, throwing glue balls the way to go. Yeah, but my... are quite oh, dexterous. I, I'm bad at throwing. I'm so no. Oh, oh wow, no encouraging words, text. It's good yeah, it to is. know what your strengths and weaknesses are. Mid <laughs> turn, being very encouraged. David. Peek over, get ready. I shoot. You miss. And I miss. The glue ball impacts the wall. Mm, I may go back to the other side. Oh, yeah. And I am not With that, these two will move up and end their turn. Because they can't actually see around that corner because of where it is. That also means. Mm -hmm. uh, Brandon, you could potentially move backwards from there because they can't actually see them. Yeah, I, I was thinking I might be able to do that. Harris turn. We're gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Who's turn is it to uh, uh I think it's I think it's John's turn to control Wait no, I controlled it, so it's either you or you or John. Then did, did she have glue balls? Um, I cannot see into her inventory, so I uh, don't know. I can see her inventory, but I can't actually interact with it. But uh, um, she doesn't oh, she have has any. A short bow. Uh, yeah, I use that to. I use that before, but unfortunately, yeah, uh, and as it is now. Uh, then I will give it a go, using the short bow. In the way. Okay. Arrow draws back on the short bow. Trying to aim, picking between targets, going nip, nip, do, and as she does so, the bow slips. Her hands are too greasy, and she fires the bow 
It lands there. Ah, could be worse. Uh, the short bow falls down or the arrow? Oh, bow. Ah. Bow! Oh, wow. Um, I move her back here. And I end my turn. I end her turn. She ends her turn. Brandon, your turn. Right, uh, so Brandon is going to, as uh, David suggested, move to this spot here. And he's gonna throw another glue ball at this one. Throw your glue ball. Let's try. Thank you. Two hits. Wow, for 13 damage. Damn. That one just becomes an immediate gluey mass. Okay, and with uh, Brandon's awesome mum for the day, he is going to... Yeah, he's going to run back around the corner towards uh, Jenny. Okay, and with that, he ends his turn. Make a deck save. Please, Phil. Please. Pretty please. Is it carry on, Phil? No, what? Fine. <laughs> and you did the exact same role <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Three radiant damage. Roll another d8. Crit fail, so I'm allowing double damage. Seven. This one, again, readies itself, and it feels the flame coming. It jumps, and the flame consumes it, and you see it arrive around in the air. It seems to float as it starts to bubble away and dissipates within a second. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to feel bad. I'm starting to feel bad for these slimes, guys. Why? I'm not. It looked sorry. right at me when it was dying. Good. It looked. No, it looked. Right. It's just... it, it looked right at me when it was burning my face. Wait, what? I I, I turn around the corner. Your face is burned. Yes. Yeah, you still have some scarring. You see that over here? Oh. I mean, did we I'm... have anything from Granny? Um. I mean, we have that. Uh, do we have that uh, solution? to kind of resist uh, the acid. Don't remember which one of you has that. Me? Uh, Miss Martinez is carrying it. Uh, I think that's only going to work for damage that thing coming out of now if it's going to... Oh, uh, oh this is not this one, I'll just spin a bit. Um, also, uh, thanks for the... Thanks to save that day. Are we uh, heading further? Or is hey. this it for today? Hey, John, before we do anything else, um, did you give out all of your glue balls to each of us? No, I, I can't remember. I gave Gee. you 10? You gave me 10. Didn't. How how many did you have, Mr. Martinez? I, I took 10. 10, all right. Kara grabs her uh, bow, short bow. Does Kara want uh, any? Please, stupid bow. You can go um, pick it up now. You could give her some. Perhaps she'd uh, be ginning her uh, hands because they're really greasy. Can I cast Prestation on her hands to get rid of the grease and glue? The grease dissipates, the glue does not. And I'll take hold really? of my dagger. Actually, think about it, I should have had a roll with disadvantage for one of the bow attacks, really. I mean, oh, you got that one anyway. Well, you got that so. one anyway, so. <laughs> oh, actually, right. on that point, could someone deduct. I think it might have to be you, John, if you've got her character sheet, deduct one arrow from her. One arrow. Because I don't think she actually mm -hmm. fired the second one, did she? She fired the actual bow. Just a bow. Yeah, so you'd only take half of your ammunition back, so. I can oh, I can. Uh... I can't uh, change her. Uh... I, I can, I did it. Ah, okay. Awesome. She has okay. Night. Thank you. Uh, and I would like to take my dagger and uh, try to cut off the glue. Oh no, we, 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 we have uh, the solution at home. Are we going home now or are we going to go further? Uh, uh, yeah, that kind of depends. I we, would... we still have one pot of uh, red striped rabbit liquid in my room. Mm -hmm. Um, up to you guys, I would rather go a little bit further, at least to the point where the larger slime was, if the idea of coming down here is to clear a path. I think we just need yeah. to get the drop on them a little bit more, I think we just got a bit unlucky with our Think initial strike. Thinking about clearing a path, should we fill up the other tunnels, just to... But they don't really have... Um solid body so even if we do yeah but it should help a tiny bit maybe yeah the thing is if we're touching the bodies are we not potentially exposing ourselves to the assets no, I, I mean fill it up with debris like oh right um but then we run the rest of the time to the noise that would make doing that uh yeah yeah mm. honestly i think this idea is working we just i've uh, just got to be a bit more careful and uh, also a little right. bit lucky. Right. Right. Lucky, you know. Hey, I can only do something about so the careful part, the lucky part. So I'm not being good at. I do not mean to be occupying a wall with it. So did you just go through the wall? <laughs> uh, it's it's alright, but Brandon just clipped it. This is still a beta. Ah, oh, yeah. Or is guy? He 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 has. Uh, what do you say? I, uh, no. I, he's lagging. Yeah, it's alright. 
we are alone enough. Should we uh, die? Should we? Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't catch that. This, this is a dead end, 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 right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just to the right, down, and then to the left. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's relatively quiet. Let's not jinx it, Dave. What did you say, Brandon? Oh, I just said let's not jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty in here. Yeah, somebody should clean it up. Guys, my doodle did work. I remember the route. route and you way. just went into a dead end. Yeah, I had it upside down for a bit. Anyway, I'm actually surprised I remember the way. That leads out since the cavern, the last place you've been to.